Okay, good evening to you all. Today is our day eight of this three month data analytics bootcamp 2.0. Like I said, this bootcamp will last for three months. And today is our day eight. Like always, we start by showing our outline. That is what we are to cover for the day. So these are our outlines for today. We are going to discuss about, uh, to have a recap on what we did on day seven, even though there is no day seven, but yeah, we have day seven. We we did day seven for assignment. So we'll have is something to say about it. Then we'll have, uh, we'll talk about data types and all the types of the, you know, uh, the data types that we have, qualitative, quantitative, categorical, numerical, nominal, ordinal, scale, discrete, continuous, and the last one is structured and unstructured data. These are what we are going to cover for the day. Don't worry, the class uh, today is going to sound like a statistical class, but don't worry. We are not into statistics, but yeah, you need to know this, at least to understand what these data types are all about. So um, let's start on recap. I, I already said uh, it has to do with the D7, uh, uh, D7, which D7 is for you to do your assignments. I believe some of you sent the assignment while some didn't yet. So uh, I will extend your assignment. I will add another 24 hours for you. It will I'll, uh, end the submission will you know, uh, expired by 5 p.m. tomorrow. So don't worry, take your time and finish it. Make sure you finish the assignment 5 p.m. tomorrow because I want to mark it and send you your result. You're going to see what you got before we, uh, or maybe I will leave it until we solve the assignment because every assignment we are going to solve it together. We are going to solve, we are going to solve any assignment that we gave to you, we are going to solve that assignment. You are going to see how to solve it so that you will learn from there. And when we were given another assignment, you will uh, try to know how to solve it by yourself. So today is supposed to be uh, a day for us to solve the week one assignment, but yeah, you are not yet done. So I uh, extend the submission time for you till tomorrow, 5 p.m. So take note on that. So our topic today, we are going to talk about data types that's what we are going to talk about today you see uh when we say data we already know data has to do with information data has to do with information and there are many types of data that we have but these types that i'm talking about uh you need to know that okay when you have a data what type of data is in front of you that one will help you a lot in analyzing that data, understanding that, da that data, and even make a decision based on the data, if you know the type of the data. And if you fail to know the type of the data, believe me, you are just beating around the bush at the end of everything. You don't even know what you are doing. So first of all, first and foremost, in everything, try to understand, try to understand the data type that was given to you. So that's number one thing you need to know. First, we have qualitative data. We have qualitative data. You see, when you hear qualitative data, uh, it's a data that comes in like alphabetical format. It can come like uh, numbers. You can see it and think it's a number, but it's not a number. The data is qualitative data. And take note of all this. I'm not going to talk about, um, uh, 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 you know, a lot about data that is alphabetical, but I'm going to talk about data that looks like numerical data, but is alphabetical data. Take note on that. For example, let me just say this qualitative data. When we have a column of females, uh, a gender, columns of gender, then we have 10 people, five females, five males. That males and female are what? Are qualitative data. It's a data that comes in that format. When we have qualification, we have BSc, SSc, PhD, MSc. All these are qualitative 
data and take note sometimes i just said it some qualitative data came in a format of numbers but it's not a number it's qualitative data you are the one seeing it as number for example for example let's say um you will see a data that under let's say qualification one can stand for bsc two can stand for ssc three can stand for primary certificate when you are given that data if you consider that data you just see one two three especially those of you that work with spss i know you you you'll be seeing this if you see one two three four you think one two three four is a data why is not data at it's not quantitative data as all is qualitative data one stand for something, two stand for something, three stand for something, and four stand for something. So if you consider this one, two, three, four as quantitative data, not qualitative, you will end up adding them together. One plus two, three, three plus three, six, six plus four, seven, oh, ten. You will end up calculating it, sum it, and put the uh, the totals, thinking that you got the total right, something like that while the data is not a what the data is not quantitative is qualitative data so please take note on this there are many data that you think are qualitative they are not qualitative no quantitative they are qualitative data even account number that you are seeing even account number that you are seeing is just means of id is qualitative data bvn is means of id because there is no way you can add up two bvn to give you one no way you can do that so it's one of the things that you will also think of if you cannot add them together then you can't consider them to be qualitative even if they come in a numeric format then quantitative data this is a normal data that comes in a format of number normally the way we used to see and what differentiates them with qualitative is quantitative you can always add them together you can use simple arithmetic on them you can add them together you can uh, multiply them, you can divide them, you can uh, uh, subtract subtract from them. That's what will tell you this data is quantitative data. For example, salary. We talk about salary, definitely is a uh, quantitative data. Height of people, weight of people. You see, all these are quantitative data. They are in format of number, and you can add up them together and you can use them to do a lot of things. And that's what the type of data you need to understand. So all take note on all this. Whenever a data is given to you, understand the data. What type of data is in front of you? What type of data is in front of you? Please take note on this. You can be given a data that is qualitative and you were, that is uh, looks like quantitative, but is qualitative. And you will be asked to convert it to qualitative. Or you will be, be given a quantitative data while the data is qualitative and you will be asked to convert it to qualitative. So you should expect this. That's what you should expect in your two second assignment. Because you are going to learn how to convert one to male, two to female, or one to BSc, two to primary school certificate, this and that. You are going to learn how to do that so that you can convert quantitative to qualitative or qualitative to quantitative. So you should take note on that because we need to uh, learn how to work with that. And that is one reason about, if you learn how to convert all this, how to do all this, is what will tell, what will give you the idea that even without knowing uh, SPSS, without having knowledge of SPSS, you can do social science analysis. All these social science analysis that has to do with questionnaire or whatever, you can do them in Excel without going to SPS, because what SPS did is just to convert the qualitative data to numerical, right, to, call, to quantitative. But if you know how to do that in Excel, you don't need SPS to do your analysis. You can go ahead and do it the way you want it to. So, but you learn that and you are going to do that you too in this uh, week, don't worry. Then of course, let's move forward. The next thing we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about categorical data. We're going to talk about categorical data. So whenever you hear categorical data, 
it's like the same data that has to do with either qualitative or quantitative. Because categorical data is just another name for quantitative uh, data, but take note. This categorical data is like uh, a, a data, it's just a qualitative data that can be grouped into categories. That's what this categorical data uh, is. For example, uh, you can see a data that comes to, let's say, for example, um, horses, dogs. All this is categorical data that belongs to animals or to a particular set of animals, less than that. But it's the same data that looks like qualitative. It's like also qualitative data, categorical data, because it comes in in, numer in alphabetical order. That's what how the data comes. So the categorical uh, data. And we also have numerical. And numerical data is, you already know numerical data is data that we have, that has to do with number. That's the numerical data. I just give example. This numerical is another name for quantitative data. That has to do with one, two, that has to do, uh, that comes like, like say salary, 10,000, 2,000, 3,000, all these are non uh, numerical uh, data. So the next thing is nominal data. Nominal data. Nominal data, sorry. Nominal data are type of data, a type of qualitative data that can uh, that that can be ordered a type of uh, qualitative data that can be ordered it, the data can be ordered it's a, cat, it's a qualitative data or you can call it categorical but the data can be ordered that is it comes in an orderly format for example if i said um qualification by me looking at the data you can uh you can order the data because you know that a person with BSc is better than one with primary school certificate. So that's what no, uh, 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 what are we, okay, I'm talking about uh, uh, ordinal, sorry, I'm talking about ordinal is the one that can be ordered, not nominal. Nominal cannot be uh, ordered. So nominal, sorry, I'm talking about ordinal instead of nominal. So, but let me talk about it again. Nominal data is categorical, is type of qualitative data that cannot be ordered. That's the nominal data. While the ordinal is a type of categorical data or qualitative data that can be ordered. So for the nominal data is the one that cannot be ordered. For example, if you talk about gender, Males and females, you cannot say male is better than female. That's how it is. But when we talk about LGA, you can't say someone from particular LGA is better than someone that comes from particular LGA. So the data is categorical or is uh, qualitative, but it cannot be ordered. That's what nominal data is. While ordinal data is a data that can be ordered. Like I just give example of qualification. You see, the data is not a number because if the data is a number, definitely you know one is better than two. Uh, two is better than one. Ten is better than one. You see, that's how it looks like by default. So 300,000 is better than 10,000. That's how it is if it is uh, 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 numerical data. But now it's type of qualitative data that you can look at it. The data, it comes in alphabetical uh, format, but you can say that this one is better than this one. Likewise, in in qualification, like I said, ordinal data to, shows you that BSc is better than primary, while secondary is better than primary, and primary is better than no qualification. So by looking at this, this data comes that in, it's in alphabetical order and it's, it can be ordered. That data is ordinal. While any data that is categorical or qualitative and cannot be ordered, then the data is nominal. I said states, you can say states, LGA, gender, all these data cannot be ordered. All these data cannot be 
order because it's just like you can't say uh, someone from a particular state is better than someone from a particular state. You can't say that. But by me looking at the uh, uh, quantitative data or numerical data, if it is a number, you can know that by clearly a number one, the bigger one is better than the small one, this and that, you can say that. And if the data comes in qualitative, that is in alphabet, and you can order that data, like I said, in uh, qualification, you can order it, then definitely the data is ordinal data, not nominal data. So all these two types of data, the nominal and ordinal, are types of qualitative data. Those that learn SPSS, you must come across this nominal and ordinal. You must come across them because they are the types of qualitative data that we have. Then we have scale data. Scale data, scale data is a data, is a numerical data. Let me just say this to you because this is another name of numerical data in SPSS. Whenever you hear scale data, it's any data that can be added together. You can plus it, minus it, multiply it, divide it. That's what scale data is all about. So these three types of data that I just mentioned, nominal, ordinal, and scale, are the three categories of data that you will see in SPSS. That is the software of SPSS. These are the three types of data you are going to see in SPSS. And take note on this. A lot of data comes like uh, in, in this format, and you are the one to understand, is this data a nominal? Is this ordinal? Is this a uh, scale? You are the one to understand what type of data you are dealing uh, with. So these are the three uh, data you should take note on also. Then we move. We have discrete data. Discrete data are types of data that has specific figures. In other words, they are the types of data that cannot have decimal places. That's what you should know. They cannot have, because they have specific values. They cannot have any other value than that specific one. For example, let me just give you an example. For example, X, X, you know X. So when we say X, boiled egg or fried egg, that's what I'm talking about, X, E double G, X. So you see X, there is no way you can say there is, when you are cooking X, there is no way you can say you saw 13.3 X. Or you are counting the student in the class. There is no way you can say you saw 15.5 students. There is no way you can say that. Because the data is discrete data. It must be whole number. It must be whole number. No way you can have 12.3 students in the class. Or 13.15 students in the class. No way you can have that. So the, the number must be discrete. 10,000, 15,000, 13,000, 12,000, 11,000, 2,000, 5,000. That's how it's going to be. Nobody can come and say the population of Nigeria is 200 million, 33,000.7233. Nobody can say that because the number must be discrete. So we have discrete data. And we also have continuous data. So a continuous data is a data that doesn't have specific value. So it can take any number. That is a data that can come with, uh, uh, with decimal places. It can take any value, 10.2, 10.3, like a height of people can be 16.33, 20.5, 165, 165.3, or 165.4, this and that. All this can be continuous because it can take any decimal places up till there. Like gold, as you can see, gram of gold, you can see 0 0.00. Look at look at how even a lot of these digital currencies that you are seeing, you see that 0 0.00002 is sometimes billions, millions of naira or something like that. Uh, so that's that's continuous data because it can take anything and it can matter if it takes anything. The last one that we are going to talk about is structured and unstructured data. So structured data are data that comes in a tabular format, a data that is labeled. 
Yeah, a data that is labeled. By me looking at the data, you can tell, okay, this one falls under age, this one is gender, this one is qualification, this one is full name, this one is ID, this one is this. That's structured data. Sometimes uh, structured data can be collected. I'm just talking, like I said, I don't want us to go out of uh, the context so that something will be kind of too heavy on you. Because some of this data, uh, all that I just mentioned, some of this data has to do with other types of data with image, voice, videos. You see, all this that you are seeing, text, all these are data. All these that you are seeing are data. Our images, our videos, our voice notes, even this, uh, uh, the way I, even this uh, lecture that we are holding is developing a data. Because I think Zoom said that they are going to start collecting meetings of people to train their uh, AI, this and that. So collecting this particular uh, lecture that we are doing, is we are generating data. All these are data. And if the data, if you look at the data, you can specify where each category of the data falls within. That data is structured data. Structured data doesn't mean the data is clean data. That's not what it means. It just means the data is labeled data and you can understand what the data means. And unstructured data are data that are not labeled. It's data that are not labeled and they are not in tabular format. It's just a data, just the way it is. So you're just going to see you are the one to categorize it. You are the one to label it. You are the one to arrange it. You are the one to do a lot of things on it so that uh, you can know what you are dealing with. But unstructured data normally are data that we are uh, uh, big data, the way these uh, tech companies are collecting people's data. Like, uh, you know, they are collecting the time you make a post, uh, the comments of people, the likes of people, the sharing, all these all these are types of uh, kind of uh, data that they are collecting. Sometimes, sometimes the voice of people, the voice of people that they are collecting, this and that, all these are the unstructured data that just come unclean. But this big company already developed, they already developed algorithm that clean the data to make it structured. So even though it's it, the data comes unstructured, but the AI they developed it is, is what categorized the data to make it structured. So they are downloading it already structured. So that's what they did. So that is the smartest way to do that. But the data comes unstructured, but they categorize it to be uh, structured uh, uh, data. So this is one of the use of all this artificial intelligence. They use that to categorize a data. So um, this is exactly where we are going to stop for today. And um, tomorrow we'll solve the assignment. The next tomorrow you'll we'll continue with uh, uh, other uh, topics. So if you have a question, please, you can ask your question. Then we can call it a day. This is our class today. No practical. That is the only class. You will not have practical today. So you will have practical Please, if you have a question, you can ask your question. I can read your charts. Yeah, if 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 you want to resubmit your assignment, you can resubmit. It's okay, you can resubmit because I uh, a lot of people some that didn't, but. Let me tell you one thing. I'm not extending any more time for you from this assignment. This is because it's your week one, and maybe you you have no idea how it's going to be. I'm not extending time. That 24 hours time is what you will have. And your assignment will always be ready. Immediately we are done with the class tonight. Your assignment will come uh, maybe within two hours after the class of that uh, on Sunday. Then you will receive the assignment immediately and you ask to submit the assignment on uh you know on when uh on Tuesday you have to submit it on Tuesday so no on Tuesday on Monday today is what Tuesday yeah on Tuesday you have submitted on Tuesday so you will have more than 24 hours so those that submitted the assignment in rush you can um you can resubmit the assignment you can resubmit it 
I will use the latest one that you sent. I will mark the latest one. So if you have anything you can ask, if you don't have a question, then I will drop the video very soon for you to rewatch. Then we can call it a day. Tomorrow you should get ready. We are solving the uh, the week one assignment. You will see how to solve it. Then we will continue. So I can see there is no any question. No any question, I think we can call it a D. So have a wonderful dream. Good night to you all, please.